everyone. Today I'll be testing four cations using sodium hydroxide. I'll now display the different tests that we're doing on the screen. The first test that we'll be doing will be with iron 2 and sodium hydroxide. Iron 2 is actually a pale green um, solution. And that's iron 2 sulfate right there. So it's actually a pale green solution and I've gone ahead now to measure out 2 cm cubes of it so I can carry out my test so you can know what 2 cm cubes look like. So we have 2 cm cubes of solution in the test tube. Remember it's pale green. I'm now going to add a sodium hydroxide solution to it. Mix it thoroughly. And we've seen the formation of an olive green precipitate. Why is this thing not mixing properly? All right. Okay. So it's thoroughly mixed now. I'm going to pour off the majority of this so that we can test if it is soluble in excess sodium hydroxide. And still pour off more. When I add an excess sodium hydroxide solution, the precipitate remains. That is, it is insoluble in excess. It's going to take too long to pour out each of these solutions in the measuring cylinder and then measure them here. So I'll just estimate 2 cm cubes. So this is now the aluminum ion that we're testing for. So it's Al3 plus and we add sodium hydroxide to it and we have the formation of a white precipitate let me mix it thoroughly so the white precipitate is there and i'm going to pour off most of what is in the test tube and add excess sodium hydroxide solution to it to see what happens so the white precipitate has dissolved in excess. The next cation that we'll be testing for will be the Cu2 plus cation, which is of course a copper cation. An addition of Aqueous sodium hydroxide. We form a blue precipitate. So let me pour off most of what is here to test if this precipitate dissolves in excess sodium hydroxide. So it does not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide. The precipitate is still there. The next cation that we'll be testing for will be iron 3. So you can see the color of the iron 3 solution. When we add aqueous sodium hydroxide to it, that what is formed this red brown precipitate. If we pour off more, most of this um, solution right here to test if this precipitate is soluble in excess sodium hydroxide solution, then you can see that it is insoluble. The next cation that we'll be testing for is the lead cation PB2+. Plus. Forms a colorless solution, just like aluminium. If we add a sodium hydroxide to it, then we get the formation of a white precipitate. 
Let us now test if the Y precipitate is soluble in excess. The Y precipitate dissolves in excess sodium hydroxide. The next cation that we'll be testing for, I do need to wash off my hand because it, it messed up the, the test tube because I touched the iron solution. But the next cation that we'll be testing for is the zinc cation. And it's a colorless solution, just like lead and aluminum. If I add a sodium hydroxide to it, then I get the formation of a white precipitate. If I pour off most of this precipitate, and I add an excess sodium hydroxide solution to it, let's see what will happen. I did need to pour off most of the precipitate, so I'm going to pour off some more. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and wash some on the sides. So you can see that the precipitate that was formed in here, it is dissolving in the excess sodium hydroxide. So the zinc, which is ZN2 plus cation, dissolves in excess sodium hydroxide. The next cation being tested is a calcium ion, which is Ca2 plus, and an addition of aqueous sodium hydroxide. We have the formation of a white precipitate. If most of the precipitate is poured off and we add excess sodium hydroxide, then the precipitate does not dissolve. So what you see happening is that iron 2 forms this dark green precipitate and it's insoluble in excess. Al3 plus formed a white precipitate that was soluble in excess sodium hydroxide. Cu2 plus formed a blue precipitate that was insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide solution. Iron 3 formed this rust color precipitate that is insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide solution. And we had PB2+, plus, which formed a white precipitate that is soluble in excess sodium hydroxide solution. And we have the Zn2+, plus cation now, which forms a white precipitate that is soluble in excess any OH aqueous solution and we have uh, which one is this calcium so calcium is insoluble in excess we'll now look at uh, the barium ion and this reaction with sodium hydroxide solution so it forms barium ion is colorless in solution it is an S block element so an addition of aqueous sodium hydroxide We do not have any precipitate being formed. Let's look at the manganese and chromium ions. So in terms of manganese ion now, this is Mn2+, and it's actually a pale pink solution. So an addition of sodium hydroxide, so Mn2+, plus, we have uh, this precipitate being formed. You decide what color you're seeing. Let me pour off the excess. Well, the excess solution in the tube that is. And add uh, more aqueous 
sodium hydroxide. What is it that you're seeing? Are you seeing a precipitate or a solution? So you decide. Once you've seen particles suspended in there, then of course you do have a precipitate. The last cation that we'll be testing will be the chromium 3 plus ion. And it's this forest green or emerald green solution. One addition of aqueous sodium hydroxide to it. Then that dark green precipitate is formed. If we pour off most of this and we add excess aqueous sodium hydroxide, then what happens? The precipitate dissolves to form what? The green solution. So you've been learning science with Mrs. C. Williams Massey. That's it in terms of the test for cations with sodium hydroxide solution. See you for the next video. Bye.